All I want to do is have some fun Until the sun comes up over Santa Monica Boulevard uh -huh. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Trey, good to see you again And happy Pride! I did not think that the world would get to a place where I could see two drag shows in West Texas within my early lifetime, but here we are. I've seen two drag shows in West Texas <laughs> this year. Now, today, <laughs> I'm reacting to Christina's Back to Basics Live and Down Under concert film. A lot of critics agree this was Christina Aguilera's vocal prime, and I'm just going to add that this is going to be my first reaction to a live Christina Aguilera performance. Everything I've done before this has been listening to studio recordings. So you guys are going to get to watch my face in real time with all of those funky live runs. A little bit of background, this tour took place in 2006 and 2007. It went down in history as the highest grossing tour headlined by a female, I believe, and her opening act was the Pussycat Dolls. <coughs> I grow up. Yes. It ended a little bit early because she became pregnant with her first child, Max. Ah! He's adorable. Yes. And she did not go back on another world tour until 10 years later with Liberation. So, hmm, this this uh concert film is a diamond in Christina Aguilera's <laughs> career. So, without further ado, let's just dive right into this reaction video. Uh -huh. So we're opening with the intro to the album, Back to Basics. A Christina Aguilera concept. Okay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Ooh. She's being spied on. <laughs> okay. I've waited for some time to get inside the mind of every legend I've ever wanted to step inside. Yes. It's like an endless ride feeling those nights of every lyric and melody and every single verse. Better give her the creative director credit. Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh, this look! And Billie Holiday, all the legends in the background that she's walking past. Ah! And the lipstick is a microphone, yes. And that's the outfit! Ah! Okay, before we do this opening number, I love a good transition. The vision that she had to have had, okay? So that little clip at the beginning showed her like we were actually seeing her backstage get ready for this show, right? So <laughs> she getting into the outfit. She getting the bow and the hat and all that stuff. And that's what she walks on stage with. As an audience member, that is thrilling. I love the continuity. When we're starting off with just a really, really cohesive vision, I'm living for it. Okay. Gorgeous curtains at the top, too. We're starting with Ain't No Other Man. Adding more dancers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Yes. 
Uh-huh. Come on. Do your thing, honey. Can't stand. I'm a pain and that's what you do. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You got soul, you got class, you got style, you got Ain't no other man is true. Yes, strut in a line. Yes. Make that head go. I love that she joins the dance break. Okay, background singer. Starting the show off high energy and it's not just high energy for Christina ain't no other man takes Christina to the edge of her range you can hear the grain in those higher notes right um, but also the dancers guys just intense you go from kind of vibing and you know just vibing and funking around and then you're bah high energy and then I'm really appreciative that this album with all of the old-school jazz sound elements that we've got the instruments are actually there on stage. I don't know how sound feed and all of that stuff works as far as instruments and input with all of that technology, but at least they are there. If they aren't playing live, they're there for show and they're creating a great visual appearance, but I think that they're actually playing live and some of what they're doing, those alternate notes that they're hitting, <laughs> are just incredible. They're incredible. Yes. Whew. And this is this is how we're starting the show, okay? Like this would performing after this, I'd be worn out, all right? So, I'm already marveling that Christina did this night after night. And not only did she do it night after night, she did it in the early stages of a pregnancy. Woo! Okay. She had a lot, she had a lot going on, all right? And mm, did she do a great job, all right? On to the next one. <laughs> Give her that water, yes, hydrate. Is this back in the day? Mm. Back. 
give it up. with the dancers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. Wow. I'm already feeling like it would be so fun to be a background dancer. Girl, where are we going? This show is so intense for one woman to headline like this. She has taken her voice to the edge in all three of the songs that we have heard so far, right? Oh my goodness, and then those background vocalists too. We are all being healthy, hydrating between numbers, right? The rest I would have to be on when I was not performing. It's just, it's just, this is, this is an athletic feat. Here, okay, I know people have a lot of criticisms for her technique and I can understand that um, You know night after night some of the things that she's doing but Christina likes how she sounds. She has fun doing what she's doing. I Say let it be let her do what she want to do. Okay, and if you don't like it don't listen. I'm enjoying the show <laughs> Girl! 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 What did you done tied around your waist? Because it looks incredible! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! And the musicians is kind of slowing down and making the mood a little bit softer. We about to, we about to do some, we have to slow it down, yes, after that high energy opening that we had. Goodness, I hope so. Girl, I can't think about my week with that beautiful train you got going on. Okay, y'all said this one was gonna make me like the song. Oh my gosh, she looks incredible. Oh, girl! Woo! Love this shot. Yes, ma'am. Huh. I see the band in the back. The huh, uh huh. Such a difficult song. Girl.
Yes, 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 you know how to work that train. Yes. Do we only get one song for that dress? Is that it? Oh, oh man. That was, mm, that's an intense song. That song looks like it's hard to sing, um, but it made a much stronger impression on me than the studio recording. So um, thank you guys for that recommendation. Uh, it proved right. I am just in awe of how many of these songs are vocally so challenging. And she comes at it with all the power she's got every time. I know with this being a concert film, there are some things that are edited together from multiple nights. There are probably some vocal blunders that happen that they, um, you know, switched out the audio with. Um, Cause I know, I know that's been done a couple of times with some of her performances. I think for someone who goes as hard as she does, you know, gives her 150%, every song um, and really pushes herself to her limits. It's remarkable that she is able to do as much as she does. There, that says, that says something about her. All right, what's up next? Ooh, that's a fun visual. is this going to be? Wait a second. Yes, ma'am, in the middle, I see you smiling while you dance. Yes. Hey, 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 hey. No way. This is come on over, baby. Hold up, hold up. If I didn't know the words to the song, I wouldn't have recognized this. This is crazy. Wait, What? What? Okay, so she said, I know I had some big hits. I made a lot of money with that first record, but it didn't represent me. So Christina said, I'm going to reinvent the song and make it my own if we're gonna have it on this tour set list. Okay, wow. 15 years before Taylor's version, there was Christina's version, okay? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Dancers. Ooh, girl. Spicy. Happy Pride. <laughs> The guys on the ground doing a backstroke. Oh.
Okay, y'all, you know how some artists, well, most artists, actually, most artists will put in their set list a song or two, maybe a few songs where they can catch a breather after some vocally intense songs. Where is your breather, Christina? None of these songs are chill. None of them. Yes, yes, yes. I love this song. Peeling it off. Oh, snap. Stop. Slow down, baby. Yo, Mr. Dancer! Ooh. You in the silver pants with the cake. Sir, what you doing? Baby is a forgotten bop from the Back to Basics album, okay? I wish it had done better. Ah, it's still one of my favorite Christina songs that I have discovered through my reaction journey, all right? That performance, oh my goodness, that could have been like one of those, you know, um, live performances that they use and recycle as a music video to promote a single, right? Um, the visuals that they had going on, just popping off of the screens, that, that had to be fun. Maybe that was, <laughs> this was around the same time that movies were trying to go over to 3D in theaters, right? Like Spy Kids and all that. I think the choreography did a really good job of showing the blend between the modern and old school styles. Like there was a little bit of swing and Charleston mixed with the 50s rock and roll hip swinging and all of that, okay? There's some Michael Jackson elements in this choreography and in, in the costumes too. This feels like it is so much fun because it is the culmination, I feel, of so much of Christina's inspiration and where she has gotten her influences from um, coming together with her at the center. I think it's, it's making for a really, really strong um, visual and vocal performance because of everything that's going on physically and sonically. I just, ugh. This is, this is a time. What else is in this act? Huh. Uh -huh. This is still dirty. Between during 
the concert. But these pants, the black, the lace. <laughs> Icons only. And if you want some more sexy, you got that freaking me. Yo! Oh! If you want sexy, you got that freaking me. He really just groped her thigh like that. Woo! She getting handled. Hey, hey. <laughs> if you want some more sexy, still got that freaking me. curtains yes that's exactly what I wanted those curtains to be okay hot all right that is the end of the first act quite a lot to sort through right I loved what they had going on in the in the background for still dirty some of those headlines were so creative what did she say from uh, from nasty to chastity that to me is just a great example of something a situation where Christina was slandered in headlines all over the world really when the music video for Dirty came out and really at the beginning of the stripped era and throughout that um, and taking what was said about her and turning it on its head and spinning it and making a joke out of it. I think that's really clever. Those headlines were really creative. I think it's so funny. Um, and you know, some of those headlines had to have actually been inspired by things that people really did say when her Back to Basics image started rolling out, when people saw she was going blonde, short hair, you know, wearing a little bit more clothes. They're like, oh, she's cleaning up her image. Maybe the backlash works. And she's like, no, no. I'm gonna give you a dirty 2.0 on stage, all right? Fellas, grind on me. I am your mother. Wow, fantastic. I'm, I'm loving it, I'm loving this. So the show is divided into a few acts. That was the end of the first act, the 1920s themed act. I will be back later with a reaction to the next act and so on and so forth. But until then, thank you all for watching this video. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye.